Hey there, I'm Dhruv, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Bug Day. I was sitting here in our offices and looking back at how the cybersecurity and bug bounty industry has grown in the past year. And most certainly a lot has happened. So in retrospect, here's our team to tell you all about it. Cybersecurity, a year in review. In January, the SolarWinds attack shook the world. It's the supply chain breach that happened in the SolarWinds Orion system. In this hack, state-sponsored hackers, identified as Nobelium by Microsoft, were able to gain access to network systems and data of thousands of SolarWind customers. To Myanmar's cybersecurity law, that has raised concerns that the military could use it to suppress dissent. Rights organization has urged the Cooper authorities to abandon the plans and stop the internet outages that have plagued the country. In March, a sophisticated attack on Microsoft Corp's widely used corporate email software turned into a worldwide cybersecurity disaster. According to a former senior source, Microsoft indicated the attack began with the Chinese government-backed hacking outfit claiming at least 60,000 known victims worldwide. In April 2021, Fedor Lader, a 35-year-old Ukrainian, was sentenced to 10 years in prison by the US Justice Department after pleading guilty to participating in the Fin7 hacking group. Fin7 group breached computer networks all over the United States and stole more than 20 million credit and debit card records. In May, a significant data breach had affected Domino's India. Names, emails, phone numbers, addresses and other personal information were also exposed. According to the portal, the hackers shortly exposed data related to payments and personal too. Their location was also available on the dark web and Indian websites are now more vulnerable to hackers to assault and exploit them. To alert the general audience about cybersecurity practices and promote cybersecurity in youth, BugPage decided to launch BugCan. A US technology entrepreneur, John McAfee, killed himself in his prison cell on June 23rd after the Spanish High Court approved his extradition to the United States on tax evasion allegations. McAfee was apprehended and imprisoned in Barcelona airport in October. According to a court document, Spain's Supreme Court agreed to extradite McAfee to the United States. A ransomware assault halted as many as 1,500 firms by compromising the tech management software Cassia. According to authorities, a Russian-based ransomware gang R Evil was responsible for this, using a Florida-based Cassia to hack into 50 MSPs or managed service providers. In August, the cryptocurrency company that was a victim of a colossal robbery was seen to ask the perpetrator to join the firm as an advisor and they also rewarded him a staggering $500,000 prize to recover user money. Poly Network, the so-called decentralized finance or DeFi initiative, was targeted by a significant hacker or a group of hackers who made off with more than $600 million in tokens. Well, an unnamed hacker claims to have exposed a massive cache of confidential material from Twitch. The breach included TV source codes and income statistics for streamers. And a poster on 4chan also stated that Jeff Bezos spent $970 million for this, but we are giving it away for free. Facebook Inc. is changed its name to Meta, the bomb said on Thursday in a rebranding that emphasizes the creation of the Meta, a shared virtual world that the company believes will succeed the mobile internet. The rebranding is intended to demonstrate how the Facebook CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, is using the firm around the Metaverse, which he wears over significant criteria that may attract the young people. Now, moving on to December. Now, many of you have already heard about the vulnerability lock 4 chain be it in a conversation about the Minecraft servers that it, it was founded in or in the if you're in the computer sector then you probably might have heard it. This has affected various huge corporations and has been labeled as the vulnerability of the decade. Now Log4j, Log4j is a widely used logging framework used in the language Java and the logging vulnerability is so simple to exploit which allows attackers to take complete control of the compromised systems. It has been discovered in various cloud computing platforms, be it Scheme or Apple iCloud, and it is almost embedded in every internet service or application that we are familiar with, be it Twitter, Amazon, just to name a few. Log4j has since fixed the problem and released a new version. However, it has been discovered that in many servers, Java has not been updated. 